Welcome to the show. Today I am here with C CEO and founder Britt Ferreira from Buddy Strong Academy. Hi, Britt. Hi. Thank Hi. you for having me. Super excited. <laughs> so can you tell us what uh, Buddy Strong Academy is and what your mission is? Yeah, so we are a uh, 501c3 uh, nonprofit um, and we offer uh, a facility space and what we have in that facility is trainers, personal mm -hmm. trainers, adaptive trainers and what we do is we offer classes for individuals of all walks of life and have all abilities um, to incorporate balance, coordination exercises as well as our typical strength training. Mm -hmm. And why did you decide to start Buddy Strong? So I am an independent provider for um, Summit and Portage DODD, and I was taking my clients to the gym regularly um, to keep them fit and healthy. Um, and I realized that there's really not a lot of options, you know, for kids with disabilities that have a specific trainer that knows, you know, about them. And, you know, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna open up something myself. And um, I did, and it's been, it's been an awesome journey so far. And what qualifies you for this? Do you have any certifications? Have you taken courses? Yeah, so I am um, a certified personal trainer. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, I have gotten, um, it's a course that you get in adaptive fitness. So I have a training in all adaptive uh, group classes and strength training, um, and as well as a few of my coaches. And tell us about a, a typical exercise class like what do you guys do? So every class is different. <laughs> uh, every week is different. Um, so we like to change it up. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, they come in and it's not the same thing. Even though they love routine, um, we each week we start with, you know, a warm up um, at the beginning of the exercises, you know, after we, we say hi to everybody and everybody, mm -hmm. you know, comes in. Um, and then we start a strength piece. And during that strength piece, we're focusing on a specific movement. So whether that be um, them picking up a new skill with the barbell, with dumbbells, um, you know, say we work on deadlifts that day. Mm -hmm. um, so we work on the strength piece and then we move into our workout after that. And our workout is um, around 30 minutes. Um, and during that time, we incorporate the strength piece in the workout. So they'll be doing, you know, a row or a bike. They'll be doing, you know, all different movements that they can work on their abs. We work on uh, arms and legs, but we throw that deadlift in there. So they just, you know, worked on that strength piece and then it's moving right into the workout. And where is your facility located? We are actually located in Twinsburg, um, Ohio, and we are um, offering classes three days a week. Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. And when did Buddy Strong Academy start? I mean, you said you, you decided you wanted to do this because there wasn't any opportunities. Yeah, so mm -hmm. August of 2022. So we're mm -hmm. just hitting our two-year mark um, and we've, we've grown exponentially. It's been awesome watching more kids um, of all ages, adults of all ages, come in of all different abilities and watching their growth over, you know, some that have been with us since day one mm -hmm. and watching, you know, their parents come and they'll dr just be shocked at, you know, majority of them drop off at the door and and leave. So when they do come in to see a class, of, you know, eventually they're just blown away at their progress. You know, we have kids that, um, and adults that can't even step up onto a plate and then few months later they're doing box step ups, <laughs> box jumps. So it's just fascinating to see their their progress, their growth, not only physically, mm -hmm. but emotionally, mentally, socially, you know, getting to know friends, um, the success stories that we hear back from the parents, um, that makes it all worth it. It's it's Tell fun. us about one of those success stories. So, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot, but... It's um, good to hear, though. So, you know, there's one. Um, we have one, you know, that is never had friends, um, has only played with his Legos, and um, this is a recent story, and I got a, a message that he's having his first birthday party, and the first time ever he's inviting friends, and mm -hmm. they're from, you know, Buddy Strong, and he got to mm -hmm. have those friendships create you know, at, at the facility and watching that, it, it's great. Um, another one is we have one that's um, down about 150 pounds and it's tremendous, yes. And so, wow. um, never wanted to work out. Mm -hmm. Disliked working out, you know, who like, you know, not many people like working out. I don't. Yeah, who likes working out? <laughs> so, 
um, you know, now mm -hmm. I hear he it, he cannot miss a class. He mm -hmm. is like ready to go, shoes on. Mom's like, you know, relax. It's not for another hour, you know. <laughs> but they're like ready to go out the door. Um, and whether that's they're excited to see their friends, they're excited because they don't know what to expect. We're constantly changing mm -hmm. it up. We do games. We do social nights. Mm -hmm. um, so you just don't make it about working out, yeah. or exercise. You try to incorporate some fun, absolutely social. They love the relay races, mm -hmm. but um, we're constantly. Um, you know, working on our gross and fine motor skills. Um, it's it's huge with them, especially balance and coordination, because as they, you know, do age, balance is a huge problem, um, as well as weight gain, dementia problems. Mm -hmm. So we're constantly working on the brain. We're, you know, maybe they're running down with a weight, but they're also matching a puzzle piece to a puzzle or a mm. color. Um, so we're incorporating not only fitness, but also a little bit of brain exercise while we're at it. Mm -hmm. And you rely on support from the community. We do, yeah. We we cannot run <laughs> without uh, help. Um, and I think that's the biggest struggle as a 501c3 owner mm -hmm. um, because I have so many goals to to where I want this to go, um, but I can't and do it alone. And it's been growing. It has, it yeah. has been growing. And you know, there's so many things that I want to be able to offer and there's things that I want to be able to have, um, but you know, fundraising is a huge a huge part of, of a nonprofit. So yeah, we, we run on um, donations. Um, we are in the process of applying for some grants. Um, but yeah, we are always, we have a webpage that we accept donations on mm -hmm. um, as well as a receipt. And, Everything. And you have a retail shop on your webpage. We do, mm -hmm. and we're launching a new line. So um, we have our retail currently on our line, but we are launching a new um, shirts and hoodies and, and sweats for the fall. So you can be able to check those out on our on our webpage. Mm -hmm. And do you have a fundraising event coming up? Hopefully, we, we do. We do. Um, so we have a gala that is going to be in the early spring. So we're looking at around March time. So. Mm -hmm. Um, we are very excited about that. I think that it's going to be a fun one. Um, it's going to be at the Hilton in Twinsburg. Um, we have great um, entertainment. All the kids are going to be there. So it's going to be a great event for everybody. And so. you're looking for volunteers? Um, Always. Mm -hmm. um, even for our classes, um, for our volunteers, anybody that's out there that wants to volunteer, um, we have sports teams that come in. Um, whether that be, you know, a middle school softball team or a high school football team, oh, yeah. they're bringing in their team. Mm -hmm. You know, that is one of my huge goals with Buddy Strong, um, making it inclusive. You know, my daughter has been there since she's been born, um, you know, around kids with all, you know, exceptionalities. And it's huge for these kids, you know, whether you're a parent without a child with disabilities, to make sure your child is around, you know, kids with exceptionalities to see that they're just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. She sees bullying. She sees, you know, what happens in schools and social media. And she loves bringing friends around to the gym, you know, watching them walk in and they look at me and they're like, how do I, how do I talk to them? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, just like everybody else yeah <laughs> and just watching them interact, interact. and mm -hmm. and they leave feeling just fulfilled and and just you know a different type of feeling than they did walking in mm -hmm. tearing up <laughs> that's the best feeling for me you know um they just want to be like everybody else mm -hmm. and and that is why i have my gym and we're connected to a different gym and those people come over and they are very involved on my side. They are saying hi, high fiving, um, and we and we and we just have it. It's everybody's together under one roof. Um, they'll hop in workouts. You know, it's it's just a fun environment. I can't. You gotta you gotta come check it out. <laughs> I will. I yeah. will. But how can somebody get a hold of you if they want to come check it out? Uh, we do have our webpage, BuddyStrongAcademy.com. Mm -hmm. um, on there is our retail shop. We have, you know, my bio and information on there um, with my certifications and uh, who we are, what we do, and on there is our email and phone number as well. Mm -hmm. And right now, there, you have classes three times a week. Three times a week, mm -hmm. uh, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 5:30 p.m. Uh, it runs an hour long. Um, and then we offer, you know, events throughout the year, but those will be posted, you know, mm -hmm. when we have them. So, okay, yeah. So keep an eye out. Yes, on your and in Christmas time, uh, we do have a huge event. Uh, draws in 200 plus people. It's wow. called um, Inclusive Reindeer Games. So mm -hmm. what we what it is is it's a it's a, a kid or adult 
uh, with a disability that's paired up with an athlete without a disability and they are a partnered team and what it is is we have a full morning of a workout so um, spectators come in we have um, kids with disabilities that have their own businesses with their businesses and tents set up so they're able to sell some of the things that they have um, and just come on out the energy in there is just it's remarkable to see and do you have a date for that yet yes December 15th okay yes and um, the location yes it's at our gym okay. uh, in Twinsburg and we're gonna be posting on our social media Facebook um, and Instagram with it mm -hmm. so you know be on the lookout it's it's a it's a once in a lifetime experience it's just really cool to witness sounds amazing yeah well thank you so thank much you. for being here thank you for having me I'm so excited I was able to come here and talk to you today we'll be right back from with some of the students from Buddy Strong Academy <laughs> Hi, I'm Britt Ferrara and I am the CEO and founder of Buddy Strong Academy. We were founded in August of 2022 and we are currently located in Twinsburg, Ohio. Our mission is to provide an inclusive and inspirational space for individuals of all abilities to experience community, wellness, and friendship. Buddy Strong strives on helping individuals of all abilities come together under one roof and working on health and wellness as well as social interaction. My name is Tenley Ferrara and I help volunteer at Buddy Strong and I also work out with the kids. It's important for kids to work out with kids with exceptionalities because I see people on social media and in schools that bully kids with exceptionalities when they need to know that kids with exceptionalities are no different from us. Hello, my name is Danny Bonsignor and I'm a student of physical therapy at the University of Pittsburgh. I've been working with Buddy Strong for about four months now and um, I originally started um, to further my education and just get some experience um, with working with young adults with exceptionalities. I've only been here for about four months and in the short time I've got to develop so many cool relationships and just see personalities um, of these individuals so it's been really awesome to experience and also one of the, my favorite things about Buddy Strong is when I leave I have just this overwhelming feeling of emotion of just gratitude, humility and overall joy that um, the exercise and the program brings. My name is Tim Raya. I've been to Buddy Strong Academy since 22 too. Major game is, is a competition that I've been working out with, and it's fun, and and I like working out with my buddy. My favorite workout is is doing weights. And my other favorite thing is, I like doing yoga with Gina because it's fun. Hi, my name is Sheila Rea, and I'm also known as Tim's mom. He's done another fitness program. He's done a lot of different stuff. What makes this program different is that it challenges him um, at his level. Every kid is different, um, and Britt has taken the time to get to know each kid and when they leave at the end of their workout, they're sweating. They've had a good workout. And that's what I like about this program because we're, we're not here just for social hour. We're here for a good workout too, and that's what he's getting here. With your contributions, we are looking for companies and individuals to join us in lowering membership costs, purchasing more adaptive equipment, as well as a larger facility so that we can offer more activities to create a stronger community.
So if you're thinking about sending your kiddo to Buddy Strong Academy, I say just do it. They have a lot of fun. They have so much fun they don't even realize that, that they're getting all sweaty and getting a good workout in. And Britt is excellent at changing things up. They come in Halloween costumes. They come dressed up as leprechauns for St. Patrick's Day, and yet they're still working out and they're having a good time. So really that's what it's all about. And if your kid wants to come and participate, then that makes it so much easier. So I say just do it. My hope is that individuals who see our program and view our mission walk away feeling inspired and grateful to see where our program continues. One, two, three, Welcome back. I am here with some of the athletes from B Buddy Strong Academy and their mothers. <laughs> um, let's start over here and Sheila, why don't you introduce yourself? Sure, my name is Sheila Rea. I am Tim's mom um, and that's it. <laughs> I'm Joanne Wilkinson. I'm Sam's mom. Mm -hmm. and and my name is Tim Rea. I'm hi. Hi. Tim, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. And Sam? Uh, Sam McAfee, I turned 23. You're 23? Okay. And how did you hear about Buddy Strong Academy? It's fun. I like working out with my friends. And I like doing you know, good with Dana because it's fun. Mm-hmm. Who, who's your coach? Uh, my coach is Brett Ferrara. Brett? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like Brett? She's awesome. <laughs> Does she work you out? Oh, yes. Yeah? What about you, Sam? Mm, probably, do, do you probably, like, yeah. Do you like working out, yeah, exercising? Yeah, I like a press strong, make, mm -hmm. make it strong. You, it makes you strong? Yeah. Yeah? And Brett's your coach, too? Yeah. Yeah? We heard about Brett in a Brown Strong Company. Uh-huh. How did you hear about Buddy Strong Academy? Uh, Brett became Sam's aide mm -hmm. probably four or five years ago. Okay. And, you know, she, and it was just based on talking about I wanted him have an opportunity to work out and things and she kind of created that opportunity on her own mm -hmm. without Buddy Strong and then created Buddy Strong with other individuals. Mm -hmm. And how did you hear about so, Buddy Strong? Um, I think for us it was it, it was just some communications that had gone through the school system mm -hmm. so um, this workout program is in Twinsburg where we were in the Nordonia school system at the time which is very close and so a lot of the um, information about the program was going through our school system and um, it was a great opportunity so we took we jumped with it right mm -hmm. Tim <laughs> yeah and why do you like the program so much it's fun I like being with my friends and I, I like to work out with them because it's because they're fun they are for and for me too I I think it's a great program because the kids are getting a great workout mm -hmm and they're having a good time. So w what's nice about it is that they are working out so much that, and ha but having a good time and they don't even realize it. So at the end of class, they're all sweaty, but they have fun and Tim doesn't want to miss it. He, yeah. I mean, there have been times that, you know, I've said, well, maybe we should skip it tonight. He's like, nope, mom, can't do it, have to go. So, so I mean, that's what you want in a program, yeah. that they want to For be sure. there, so, uh -huh. and that matters. And why do you like it so much? Um, I think it creates a good opportunity, like Sheila had, had shared about being with his friends, being with people that are, are like him, and giving him an opportunity to just to help others out. And mm -hmm. I think for the people that are there assisting, it creates opportunities for them too to understand how important it is for everybody to just work together. Mm -hmm. And do you find that there are any challenges for you know keeping individuals with Down syndrome or your son healthy? Absolutely. Yeah. So w what I find is that it, school age, when kids are school age, they have um, PE class or they have recess or when they get a little bit older, they might be involved in activities like track or cheerleading or like Tim was in marching band and that's a lot of activity and then you age out of the school system and that ends. Mm -hmm. So this program sort of filled that void and it helps, he, because he loves it so much, it helps with keeping him healthy. Mm -hmm. What do you think? 
the exact same. <laughs> it, it's, it's just it's that opportunity that mm -hmm. once they've graduated school, they miss out on because mm -hmm. there was nothing there that was organized, that was safe, and that was geared to meet their needs mm -hmm. with having Downs. Mm -hmm. Well, thank goodness for Brit. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, Tim, yeah. why do you feel it's it's important for you to stay healthy and exercise? To keep me strong and to be healthy and keep your body moving and stay off technology. <laughs> what about you, Sam? Why do you think it's important to stay healthy and, and exercise? To stay happy on uh, my roots. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite exercise that you do in class? I like bike anymore. Biking? What about you, Tim? What's your favorite exercise? My favorite exercise is uh, the dumbbells and the weights, and I, I like uh, the rolling also. Mm -hmm. Ugh, you guys are making me tired <laughs> just hearing about everything you do. It's a good workout. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. 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 And and you had mentioned, you know, you know, the community coming and, and supporting and coming to the classes. Um and Britt mentioned that earlier too. I mean, why do you think it's important for inclusion and for others to become involved with this program? Sarah. It's Again, it's just always that opportunity. Not everybody in life has the opportunity to understand that they're not less because they have one more chromosome mm -hmm. or they have any other um, special needs. So it offers other people within the community um, just time to, to explore something that they might not have had access to. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. but. To, um, but also, I mean, community support for any nonprofit organization is vital. Um, and so it, it's for, for that support for any of these types of programs, it's very important to keep them moving forward so that our kids do have these opportunities mm -hmm. for an adapted, it's an adapted program, but it's a challenge for them. Mm -hmm. So it's not overly adapted and that's what we like about it so that they're, they really are getting exercise, but then um, the the other part of that is that they you know the community support helps them with um, getting to know the other stu uh, other kids that are involved in the program but also the volunteers that help with it as well mm -hmm. so it's all sort of make up of people that are helping out with this program and they form bonds friendships oh yes for sure yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's, and you do some social activities as well, besides working out, right? Right. Yeah. What else do you do, Tim? Do you have a job? I'm still current in job development, and uh, yeah. You're looking for a job, I'm aren't looking you? for a job, yeah. You're looking for a job? Yeah. And what do you like to do besides working out? What kind of fun things? Uh, do you like to do with your friends and your family? Uh, swimming. Ooh. Hang out. That's still working out. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Yeah, swimming, yeah. hang out, hang out with my friends. And I'm a auto server at my church. And it's fun. What about you, Sam? What do you like to do besides working out? Yeah. What fun things do you like? Make a friends and relationship. You know, mm -hmm. Friendship. Do you have a job? Yeah, I got a job at Giant Eagle. At Giant Eagle? What do you do there? Mm, we got banking, carts, stocking. Mm -hmm. So you keep busy? Yeah. And you like hanging out with your family and your friends? Yeah. Yeah, what do you like doing with them? I yeah, miss my friends from school. Mm -hmm. And my family mm -hmm. loves me. <laughs> Okay, um, so tell me what, uh, Tim, tell me what you like about Britt. She's fun, <laughs> and I like her, and... Does she push you to, to, to work out, to keep going? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's just fun? Yeah. What do you like about Britt? Mm -hmm. yeah, she be fun, yeah, she be funny. Uh -huh. Is she tough? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> we talked to Brett earlier in the show, and she talked about some of the fundraising 
um, activities and, that you have coming up. And she talked about a, uh, a program in December that, that you guys that you guys do. Have you attended that? Do you recall what that is? Yeah, that didn't December? Yeah, it's called, yeah. it's called Reindeer Games. Yeah. Reindeer Games? It's fun. It's a competition. Well, I call it Reindeer Games, but it's like a competition where we do all our workouts from eat different heats. Like, we do barbells or we do uh, other things like uh, push-ups and all that. It's fun. Mm -hmm. That's why I like Reindeer Games. Have you been to Reindeer Games? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? And are the parents involved in that as well, or is it just the kids? We come to cheer them on. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was shocked after the first Reindeer Games. Mm -hmm. So each of the kids are paired up with a, a buddy um, to work out together and do these. They did, I think, three sets of workouts. Mm -hmm. And they are really challenged workouts. I was shocked. They're and into I'm, it, huh? Oh my gosh, I was so surprised at the end of it and everybody was there to cheer them on and I mean they had a great time mm -hmm. and um, uh, it, it was just, it was a great, it was really a great opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Tim and Sam, I'm, I'm glad I got to meet you guys and is there like anything else that you want to tell me? Is there a funny story or some kind of achieve, uh, goal that you have achieved um, since you've been at Buddy Strong? It was a hot day and we were outside. Uh -huh. It was me and Brett and we we always do outside is, uh, we were outside, it was after workout, we were hot and, and sweaty and we got Sprayed by water in a squirt gun. It was funny. <laughs> Who was spraying you? It was me and, and Brett and Abby and Sam. <laughs> she was spraying all of you? All of us, yeah. <laughs> I bet it felt good after that workout, though. It was. <laughs> what about you, Sam? Mm. You got anything to share with me? A funny story or a goal? I'd, I'd like to share with everybody. Okay. Mm, I'd like to get a first one. Mm hmm. Who didn't you know? Were you in in the in getting squirted with the squirt gun too? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I don't like it. You don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like it? <laughs> you didn't like it. Yeah, I like it. Going to the pop Uh huh. Brett, he didn't like it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for being here today, and I wish you luck in in your health goals. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you.